Hello, it's Joe Lines, and uh, I'm finishing up at least the plan tutorials on Selenium with Auto Hotkey. And uh, I got a couple examples here. This is really just some uh, other tips and tricks. Part of it has to do with Selenium, part of it's using JavaScript execution within Selenium, but getting um, other information about the page that you might like. Uh, these two links here you might check out. Um, I'll include them on my web page. And uh, they, they have some tips that I borrowed from down here and I should say adapted from because a lot of that code didn't actually straight away work but um, you can see there's other stuff that I didn't flush out below that you still might like so um, all right here we're just starting we're using Chrome again we're gonna go to my website and the first one let's do these two so here are two different ways so I'm gonna save this reload it and run it and we're gonna see using Java execution we're gonna get the ti document title and then also that that actually is something you can do straight away with the the web driver with Selenium. So first we load the page, and here is the first one with the JavaScript. So I put the message box up here showing it, um, the title. And then this is just straight away from the title from using Selenium. So I want to go back, comment these two out, and let's do this next one here. Here we're gonna. Um, navigate we're going to use javascript to navigate to a page and and actually since we're already on the page i'm going to demonstrate getting the path name uh, which is the path of the url so i think if i remember it's not the full url it strips everything after that so let me save this reload and launch so after we use the get here then we're going to use javascript to actually navigate to a different page and then we're going to show the path name so here notice it loads my first page but then it changed to my link in and and <laughs> so stupid LinkedIn I have to be logged in um, in order to get it but it's it's see this auth WL so that's starting right here right if I had included the uh, search parameter it would have been the everything from the question mark after um, you know what let's did I leave I have it open let's see Chrome profile let me see if I can I'm gonna borrow I'm gonna bring in real quick this sh theoretically should work because I think I'm logged in on Chrome. Um, I'm going to reload that, and hopefully that other URL, when it launches, is going to... Nope, I guess I, I needed to have lo logged in first, but well, that's fine. It's just still, still showing you the concept of um, navigating, or, uh, yeah, navigating to the next page with JavaScript instead of using the get command. Um, so that's that one. Let's show title, didn't I? Sorry, I just realized I must. Oh, I was uh, I was demonstrating. That was to demonstrate the, the the past one that I actually had navigated. Now here, we're going to. You know what? I do want to navigate. So I know this this is my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna swap that out up here. Reload that, and now it and we'll you know we'll go ahead and show that, and we'll show the title, and then we're gonna go back, um, and then show the title. And so, hopefully this will make sense here. So we're going to launch the page. I should get rid of that. So, notice it navigated Hi, to my YouTube... My name is Joe oh, yeah, great. Shut up, idiot. Um, it, uh, it navigated there. Um, and see here the slash users slash Joe Glines? So see up here, that is grabbing from this, right? That is the path, if I remember correctly. Um, we are on this one, the path name, sorry. Um, this also, it's something you can do with the the com object as well so uh, off of a um, an href the URL so if you sometimes you don't want the actual full domain you just want what's after it it's a great easy way to snag that um, and then now we're frozen on that one now when I hit oh okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that when I hit the message box okay let me get my browser back up and pull back up the message box so when I do the next one it is going to go back we are going to use this line here the history we're going to go back one and then show the title just to show that we've navigated so let me get the browser back up and here and I want to hit this oh that let's see if it there it goes so we went back one and then got the title so I was reading from the wrong message box I forgot I had an extra one in there but um, you get the idea so we just navigated back so I'm going to reload it now let's go ahead and let's see because I want this, the history zero go zero will refresh the page. So let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this message box and that one. Um, that would just refresh it. Refresh it. This would go forward. So again, I have to have navigated. So it's going to navigate to there. It's 
going to go back one. Let me put in and borrow this here. You know what? I'm going to change this to just say pause so we know where we are. All right, reload, launch. So it navigates there, goes to my YouTube page, gets Hi, the title. My name is Joe Lyons. Yeah, shut up. Now, research. when I hit that, now it it now Hi, it refreshed the page, right? Survey research. So that's what that was, and then we're going to go. I've always been into being more efficient. Forward, but there was no forward because I, I didn't go back. Anyway, this this trust vain, me, I think I right, do over and over and over. Um, that did work. Um, we just got to get the structure right of navigating, going backwards and forward. Um, this next one's pretty cool. Let me get rid of all of this, and you know what? Let me get rid of this. Set in the Chrome profile. Uh, because this next one, let me open it. Is uh, it? It's going to scroll down the page um, by 550. I forget if that's um, pixels or what, but it, I have tested it. It works pretty cool. That if you actually wanted to scroll down your page, so did you see a jump? Right. It started off up here, but that last line just. Um, you know what? Let's. Uh, I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to re-enable that pause, and let's set this one to be 950, and I'm going to do another pause in between there. So now we should go to that first page and pause. I should have said pause one, right? But that's all right. So we haven't moved yet. Now when I undo this, it's going to jump down. Notice the scroll bar here and where we are. So it just jumped down there, and we paused, and now when I hit it again, it'll jump a little further down the page. And so that's how you can work about um, navigating down your page. Stop there, there. Um, this one will get you your domain of the page, which I think could just be my my main autohockey.com. Oh, I'm sorry, the automator. So this is the domain that you're on. All right. Um, this works basically. If I remember, right, this and this one are, are basically the same thing. They'll get the URL or the href. Um, one's using JavaScript, the other's using the Selenium stuff. So here's the full URL, and here it is using the href from executing the JavaScript. So comment those both out. Come back in here, protocol. Um, let's do that as well as uh, the next two. So protocol is just going to be is it HTTP or HTTPS, right? And I'll show which one it is depending, of course, what page you're on. And then I'm going to navigate here. I'm going to do my search query for Selenium off of my website. And notice here, when I'm returning the document location search, this returns from the question mark on. And so it'll drop out the beginning part of it. So here we go. We're launching. So it's HTTP, because I haven't set up um, the HTTPS on my site. And now here, this next one, we're going to navigate. So notice we navigated to the search Selenium. It searched. I only have the one posting um, on it. But notice here, it returned back the question mark S equals Selenium. right? So it, it dropped out this first part here. Um, and that's, again, often when I'm doing stuff, I, I think, uh, I'm sure I can do it with Selenium, but um, with Calm, I'll do it. And I, if I just want, um, instead of doing a regular expression, parsing off of the question mark S equals, I, I will just use the search. And I don't have to truncate out what's at the beginning. And it's just an easier way to grab closer to what I want. And, you know, so regular expressions are awesome, but when you're not used to them, they, they take time to get used to. Okay, so my last couple here um, are two different ways. You know what, let's throw in a message box in between those. Just to pause. Alright. We're going to... Um, we're going to open up a new window, and this one we're going to navigate straight away as a new target. Um, you know what, I should have had, oh, this next one is blank. And and the second one, and it's resizable, and the second one is just going to be a blank page. So, did I save it? Yeah, it's launching it. Now notice here, it's going to, so it opened up a new window. It opened up to my Hi, YouTube, my yeah, that's annoying. Um, <laughs> opened up to my YouTube channel. Uh, and, and I can resize the screen if I wanted to, right? So that's what that resizable stuff was doing. Um, and the next one, I'm going to hit the message box, and it's just going to open a new window, but there's no navigation. It's just a blank, um, blank one. So that's it. That's all I had. I thought these were some interesting things that you can do. Um, I'll probably, I have a, a really good file that I have for using with Calm and um, a lot of these other, the host and, and um, history and um, different things that you can do with Calm for getting 
parameters and I've never actually did a video and documented so I'll, I'll probably do that but it has nothing to do with Selenium it's just uh, stuff about the um, probably using JavaScript and, and the URLs anyway thanks